back in the basement again today to talk about a very simple bench from Vulcan. That's the 3x3 flat bench. Yes, that's right. That's the name of it. It literally describes what you're buying. 3x3 flat bench. And even though this is a very simple and basic bench that's also very budget friendly, you could be getting a lot for your money if you're willing to overlook a few of the design choices that they made with this. So let's take a quick look at the specs and then talk about if this bench is worth spending your money on. So even though this is a basic bench, the construction of it is actually really nice. When you take a look at the frame, it's 3x3 three 11 gauge steel, which is really popular in a lot of powerlifting rack configurations these days. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't have any kind of holes like you would find in a rack to add on attachments, but still 3x3 three 11 gauge in this gray powder coat is pretty nice overall and typically not something you find on a more budget friendly bench. All right, so I mentioned this was a super simple bench. Let me explain how simple it is. In fact, there's only really four components putting this together and that is a pad a frame and then two feet there's only 10 total bolts six of which are for connecting the pad to the frame and the other four bolts are for connecting the feet to the frame so super simple easy put together really nice to see these days this bench is inherently super sturdy because of that there's no moving pieces and there's not a lot of pieces as is and what really cements that fact which cement is a good word to talk about when we're talking about sturdy things is the fact that they decided to go with wide feet on both ends. So you have 21 inch wide feet on both ends of this bench, again, made from that three by three 11 gauge steel. You also have two rubber booties per foot and these rubber booties are nice and grippy. So no matter if you're putting this on stall mats, concrete, wood, or whatever, this bench is not going to slide around anywhere. What really reinforces this even further is the fact that the bench weighs 60 pounds. So it is on the heavier side of things. So as I mentioned in the first clip, there are some design things that you might want to consider when buying this bench, and it really comes down to the feet for me. Now, obviously having those wide feet in the front and back add to the stability of this bench, as I just mentioned, but it also adds to how much they're going to get in the way, at least for me, when setting up for a bench or using this for any other work. I find that I hit my feet on the feet of the bench all the time. And again, three by three, 11 gauge steel, really thick, juicy feet with those big rubber booties on the end. I just find that I'm very apt to hit them or need to set up with my feet further out, which then kind of has this chain effect where I feel like I can't get as tight as I normally would setting up on this bench. Now, this isn't a new design by any means, and if you've been to a commercial gym before, chances are you've used a bench like this, and depending on how you set up for your own bench and movements on a flat bench, it may or may not be an issue, but it definitely is something to consider. Now, on the flip side of that, I do have Vulcan's bench, which uses a tripod type design, which I've reviewed a lot of versions on this channel, and I'll review that bench coming up very shortly here. And even though you're now able to put your feet in a much better position because of the single post on front, it really takes away a lot of the stability on the bench, despite the fact that that bench is roughly 10 pounds heavier. So I'll do a quick test here where I just show you the single post design in front with one hand. I can get this bench rocking and moving pretty good versus the fat wide foot of this three by three flat bench, really stable and I really can't move it. So it's a pro and con depending on what you're looking for, but definitely something to consider if this is going to be the bench to you. And you'll definitely feel the 60 pounds on this bench because this bench doesn't have any wheels and it doesn't have any handles. Meaning that if you want to move this bench, you literally have to pick it up and move it. And you definitely feel that 60 pound weight versus again, the tripod design of the other bench from them that I have that's on wheels and has a handle and feels much lighter because you never actually have to pick it up. Now, the bright side of this bench not having wheels is the fact that it can kind of stand up on its own in either orientation. So if you're the type to want to store your bench vertically, this could be a great bench for you in that regard because there's no extra kickstands or anything that you'd have to really worry about. All right, so let's talk about the pad itself. This is an important aspect for a lot of people when you're talking about benching. The pad specs are really good, right? 17 and a half inches off the ground, 12 inches wide, 47 inches long, which is a little bit under what it says on the website. So you're losing about an inch, but to be honest, a lot of the benches I've been reviewing lately from a lot of different providers out there, none of which have really 100% lined up to the description on the website. So this bench is no different, but overall speaking, a lot of the specs are really good and perfect for bench work. Now, speaking of the pad itself, I mentioned it's 12 inches wide. It's also about two and a half inches thick. So it's a firmer pad at first feel, but if you give it some push in, 
you'll definitely feel some cushion. And the material they use on this bench is really good as well. I like it, it's a grip of material. It's not super loose, there is some play in the padding itself. I think over time this is gonna break in real nicely. It says Vulcan on the pad, but I think most people would appreciate this bench, especially given the price point. So let's get into pricing, right? I told you this was a budget-friendly bench. On Vulcan's website at the time of this video, it's listed for sale for $200, but currently they're running a sale on this bench and it's in stock for 160, which I think is a pretty good deal when you take a look at what this bench provides. For $160, I typically don't expect much, but this bench is super solid. And maybe I'm just not used to, again, having the wide feet on the front and the back, but that plus the quality of the pad and the three x three 11 gauge steel, I think this is a really good buy if you can get over the fact that, again, the feet are probably gonna get in the way of your feet and it's kind of a pain in the butt to move this thing around because there's no wheels or whatever. But again, the pros of it are that it's very solidly constructed and it has a great pad on it. And that $160 also includes free shipping. So if you're in the market for a bench like this and you can get over some of the design choices they went with, I do think it's a really good value for $160 and it's worth taking a look at. Now, if I can answer any questions on this bench or anything else, let me know in the comment section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big. Thank <laughs> you.